Hey guys, Jamie here from Start Riot. Welcome back to Thank Punk It's Friday. Here's the news for this week. Now, not only is this the 13th episode of Thank Punk It's Friday, it's also Friday the 13th. And so I feel it's quite appropriate to say that Misfits have announced they are reuniting with Glenn Danzig at Riot Fest this year. This means that Glenn Danzig and Jerry Only will be playing on the same stage for the first time since 1983. Now this will get Misfits fans pretty excited and pretty shocked to be honest. The two famously don't get on, they had a big lawsuit in the 90s over who got to use the Misfits name. Danzig obviously started the band Danzig and Jerry Only went on to continue with the Misfits eventually becoming the lead singer replacing Glenn Danzig. And now they're going to play together which is amazing. I went to Riot Fest last year and it's honestly such a good time. The full lineup's apparently going to be released in a few days but this is a good sign. The only thing is, Danzig or no Danzig, if you said to me a week ago, Misfits are going to be headlining Riot Fest, I'd be like, yeah, okay. The fact is, Misfits are never going to sell out a stadium, which is kind of what you want from a headliner. It's still the same songs with or without Danzig, so we'll wait and see what's on the rest of the lineup, which will come next week. For younger viewers, if you don't know who Misfits are, they've basically inspired most bands. Like, most bands. They pretty much invented horror punk, so anyone that's got like a gothy tilt in the punk world, AFI, Alkaline Trio, Creeper, anyone like that, all inspired by Misfits. In other news, there's some great albums out today. Modern Baseball are finally releasing Holy Ghost. Now, I'm sure you've all heard it by now. It's been streaming all week. This album's been split into two halves. It's much more chill than the first half, much more angry in the second half. It's a great album. Go check it out. Another album is Nothing, Tired of Tomorrow. Again, they've been streaming it this week, and it sounds sick. It's kind of like a shoegazy death tone. So if you didn't get enough death tones, earlier with the release of Gore. Now you have another album that kind of sounds similar. And also Head Wound City, a bit of a super group. They released their album A New Wave of Violence today as well. Lots of videos have been released again. I love it when videos come out because this is a video format. Creeper have released a video for Astral Projection, which is on the Stranger EP. Amazing song, just like the rest of the EP really. That follows up from the Black Mask video earlier this year. Astral Projection is such a great song. It's like AFI at their best, and then it got such a good breakdown at the end as well. Can't get enough of that EP. I'm still listening to it a few months on. Real Friends have released a video for Mess. Features a lot of live footage, much like the Creeper video. That's off their upcoming album, which will be out later this month. Start Riot favourites, Muskets have released a video for their song Drowsy off Spin. It's quite a good video if you're in the UK. It features Matt King, aka Superhands, from the show Peep Show. Basically kidnaps Muskets and makes them play in his basement. Cool. Panic at the Disco have a new video ahead of their headline dates at Slam Dunk. It's for their song Don't Threaten Me with a Good Time off their album Death of a Bachelor which came out this year. A Thief You Can't Sweat Out is one of my favourite albums of all time. The new stuff isn't really doing it for me but you know, the video's pretty good anyway. Features a shape-shifting alien thing. So this week that Andy Black tour with Creepers started already. You can catch them in cities near you. Landscapes are touring with Capsize. Basement have announced a tour in July. That's around some festival dates they already had booked. Motion City Soundtrack have also announced they're coming to the UK on their farewell tour. Those dates are in August. They'll be doing three shows. I know there'll be a lot of sad faces at those. And finally, Pup's new album, The Dream Is Over, comes out late this month. The songs they've released off it already are amazing. They were great at Gros Rock. You might have seen the video for DVP, which features a lot of retro video games. Well, they've gone one step further. They've created their own video game on Pup Tendo and it's called The Dream Is Over. It's basically a racing game where you drive down Don Valley Parkway, DVP. You race a car, you have to hit checkpoints. It's in a very retro Sega Rally Championship kind of game. Like all retro games, it's very hard, but very addictive. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it like I have. It's still not finished Don Valley Parkway yet, but I'll get there. And that's all for this week. Have a great weekend. See you all next week, and thank Punk, it's Friday. Just say.